In this session, let us try to understand what are the different phases of machine analysis. Okay, how we are going to analyze transformer or induction or synchronous or DC. Okay, basically some people may get a small friction here because they are too much attached to their textbooks. Okay, we need not follow in a conventional way because our target is to, to simplify complete machines and to come to a single point agenda. That is, all machines should be connected to a single point, unified to a single point. So, means all together, I follow the same, these uh, different phases only and uh, at starting, you may get like uh, in your textbooks construction is given first normally and after that operating principle is given so you may feel that where is the construction of transformer where is the construction of dc machine or where is the construction of any other machine it is not required okay so whenever anything is required i will tell you i will tell you okay first of all in any machine analysis first i will consider the machine as ideal machine okay so first i'm going to consider Gradually you will understand just stay tuned and you have to understand one thing that if you are able to follow the lecture It is sufficient. Okay, you need means we need not follow any textbook Okay, if you are able to understand the lecture it is more than sufficient ultimately It's my responsibility to make you feel comfortable and confident in machines. I will take care about it Okay, now first of all, let me assume the machine as ideal Maybe this is input port and this is output port okay now maybe if i say in ideal machine analysis for example transformer okay in ideal transformer core loss are neglected copper loss are neglected leakage is neglected non-linearity effects of magnetic material is neglected is wrong who are you to neglect who are you to neglect okay basically first thing is for example in network theory in network theory in network theory if i have a like our practical machine lab rheostat okay so if you think of a practical machine lab rheostat our practical machine lab rheostat will be like this this is going to be air core and this is going to have wires high resistivity wire okay and uh, some connections will be there here some connections will be there here okay now normally we will model this with a resistance rheostat rheostat now can i say that inductance effects will not be there in this wire can i say that capacitance effects will not be there in this wire no no so basically in all the parts in all the parts basically if i inject maybe sinusoidal current sinusoidal current means my operating flux around this will vary means that inductance will be there okay for example this is going to be one turn okay so turn to turn if you see this is going to be one turn and this is going to be another turn another turn turn to turn insulation will be there capacitance also will come so point here is point here is if you think of network theory and machines lab rheostat for example in network theory means we are going to have only resistance as a property inductance as a property capacitance as a property okay so in network theory ideal resistance we are going to analyze ideal inductance we are going to analyze ideal capacitance we are going to analyze now in our practicality is it possible to have only resistance in the universe no means if i think of normal rheostat also inductance effects will be there capacitance effects will be there means that in network theory combination of resistance inductance capacitance may represent the practical reality but only resistance finding only resistance is not possible in physical reality okay similarly similarly means in network theory i'm going to consider resistance first as a ideal element inductance as an ideal element so in network theory inductance in the sense only pure inductance will be there that is on paper that is ideal inductor but practical inductor practical inductor may have to be represented with a combination of resistance inductance capacitance effects similarly here also here also we are going to start with ideal machine okay ideal machine means that ideal machine means that means those practicalities are not considered in the sense ideal resistance means that only resistance will be there inductance capacitance effects will not be there is the assumption on paper okay similarly similarly coming to here coming to here the moment if i say ideal machine ideal machine does not mean that does not mean that core loss are neglected who are you to neglect core loss 
okay core losses are not considered for time being copper losses are not considered for time being maybe non linearity effects and leakage are not considered for time being because those will be considered at later point of time or the next phase is a point of interest okay so point here is point here is like ideal machine analysis is going to be the first one so for example first phase first phase is going to be ideal machine analysis okay so ideal machine will never ever exist in practice okay so combination of ideal and practicalities will be the combined practical machine but only ideal machine will never ever exist on earth okay but why we are considering ideal machine because machine as a machine without having any other uh, disturbances like core losses or copper losses okay again let me tell you one conclusion here you have to make a note of it okay in ideal machine analysis core losses copper losses leakage or non-linearity effects are neglected is wrong but those are not considered for time being because they will be considered at later point of time is right now phase two phase two okay because our ultimate aim is i if i have a practical transformer for example practical transformer should be analyzed by this by different phases such that end of this particular end of this analysis we are going to get a conclusion that conclusion will be able to map to this that is nothing but indirect loading test in the sense without directly touching the physical transformer i should be able to tell you the efficiency i should be able to tell you the voltage regulation or some kind of terminal performance characteristics now phase two first a machine as a machine we are going to consider after that we are going to model practicalities okay our building equivalent circuit means that what is meant by practicality for example ideal machine will never exist in universe i have a practical transformer for example okay for a practical transformer winding is there should be there right for this copper wire for this copper wire if you inject some current because of this resistance some copper losses will happen now this copper loss is going to be the practicality practicality so in order to represent these copper losses of practical thing i should be able to model some resistance here so maybe i will try to model one network element resistance maybe i'll try to model some other thing i'll try to model some other thing i'll try to model some other thing okay like maybe copper loss core loss non-linearity or maybe leakage etc etc maybe some practicalities okay so what are these these are practicalities okay so means in the second phase in the second phase in the ideal machine in ideal machine you don't have any losses means that for time being we are not considering kind of practicalities in future in phase two in phase two we are going to model practicalities in the sense for example hysteresis loss is there okay we have to understand hysteresis loss and then in order to model physically existing transformer hysteresis loss i may have to model here some resistance somewhere some resistance somewhere so we should start analysis of machine now that is nothing but phase two okay phase two is going to be modeling practicalities you have to make a note of this here modeling practicalities or we can say building equivalent circuit building equivalent circuit building equivalent circuit fine okay so phase 2 is over building equivalent circuit or finding some parameter like uh, modeling some parameters okay so for example for example means ideal machine will not have leakage because that leakage will be modeled at later point of time phase one and in phase two phase two you found that without leakage machine will not exist later we will see okay so practical machine have leakage in order to model that leakage for example you concluded that inductor should be connected in series for example okay that is fine with that phase two will be over now how much is that inductance value should be known okay for example my practical transformer is having copper loss okay in order to model copper loss copper loss in the sense losses power will be absorbed means which element will absorb power resistance 
so for example in phase one phase one ideal machine in the sense without having any losses copper losses for example okay and in phase two we will come to know that okay practical machine is having copper losses in order to model copper losses some resistance has to be modeled phase two and how much is the value of that resistance for the practical machine practical machine is going to be phase three that is nothing but phase three finding parameter values finding parameter values of equivalent circuit okay so finding parameter values of equivalent circuit of equivalent circuit okay how to find parameter values can you do direct loading test no if you can do direct loading test you need not start machines at all everything should be in indirect way indirect way in the sense output should not be wasted okay and you should not be means you should not design any load which can absorb rated capacity of the machine to be tested okay in a controlled way so means we have to find parameter values of equivalent circuit equivalent circuit by indirect loading test by indirect indirect loading test this would be phase three phase three indirect loading test for example for example for a practical machine for a practical machine means let us start from starting in phase one transformer as a transformer we are going to take in phase two what is the practicality copper loss that practicality can be modeled in the name of resistance here phase two how much is the value of res that resistance you have to conduct some tests on the practical machine now those tests should not be direct loading tests in indirect way you should be able to find the resistance or winding that magnitude of the resistance or parameter value of the resistance we have to keep in the phase three okay so after that Phase four, phase four is going to be performance analysis. In the sense, how much is the efficiency? Or in a case of motor, what are the torque speed characteristics? And in case of generator, what is voltage regulation? Okay. But in case of transformer, we can say efficiency and voltage regulation. Those are the two parameters. But anyway, means performance analysis means that finding terminal response characteristics or performance characteristics. So finding performance characteristics. Finding performance characteristics. In indirect way, we are going to estimate, roughly estimate the performance characteristics of a practical machine without actually loading the machine. Okay. And the lat latter point of time, we can think of kind of applications. We can think of applications. Okay. Now, let me tell you, let me tell you, what are the subtopics? What are the subtopics? For example, if I think of transformer, what are the subtopics will be there? okay you need not write anything because this matters this doesn't matter okay for example ideal machine for example transformer in case of transformer in case of transformer first thing is ideal transformer at no load condition how it will behave ideal transformer at loaded condition how it will behave is going to be the first one second one is we should be able to model practicalities maybe we should be able to model copper losses core loss in the core loss series loss eddy current loss okay and we should be able to model leakage okay we should be able to model winding resistances and all those things will come in second one and in phase three finding parameter values of equivalent circuit in the sense once you build equivalent circuit you should be able to find the parameter values how much is the resistance value how much is the inductance value okay of leakage how much is the shunt branch parameters means like once equivalent circuit is built those equivalent circuit parameter magnitudes you are supposed to find by indirect loading test oc test and sc test polarity test somehow test and dummy load test okay these are the tests we are going to conduct in a transformer at ug level of course there are many other tests we can conduct but means uh, these are the tests we are going to conduct oc test we are going to conduct sc test we are going to conduct okay and the summoners test will be there dummy load test will be there okay polarity test will be there by all these tests we are going to find parameter values of equivalent circuit and in phase four performance analysis in performance analysis what we do is okay for example for example you got the parameter values of this as 2 ohm or 3 ohm or something like that now we are going to start from here from here to here let us apply network theory network theory 
बिकॉज मीन्स फर्स्ट फेज इज ओवर आइडियल मशीन हाउ आइडियल मशीन बिहेव ओनली द मशीन एंड सेकेंड वन इज मॉडलिंग प्रैक्टिकलिटीज means something can be modeled by inductance something can be modeled by capacitance something like that third one is by conducting different tests you will be able to find out those resistance inductance values and phase 4 you know the values no you know the parameter values now from input port to internal ideal machine port let us apply network theory such that from here to here you are going to get from here to here ideal machine analysis in phase 1 is there you are going to apply from here to here you are going to apply again network theory again network theory now from here to here if you see from here to here if you see that is nothing but practical transform only no that is a bit practical transform only means that in phase 4 what we do from here to here network theory here to here ideal machine analysis from here to here network theory such that from here to here here to here practical machine is analyzed in the sense for example maybe for maybe we are going to give here loading conditions okay so for example how much will be the loading conditions for example if i would like to know if i would like to know efficiency at half full load at unity power factor for example okay so i am going to assume connecting a load connecting a load which will operate at half full load at unity power factor i'll assume and automatically current i'll come to know means losses i'll come to know from here to here ideal machine from here to here current i know okay such that from here to here output i know plus all these losses if i add input i'll come to know output divided by input is going to be efficiency so i did not touch the practical transformer our practical transformer is not loaded not loaded okay so in phase 4 in phase 4 we are going to do performance analysis in phase 5 in phase 5 applications auto transformer parallel operation three phase maybe scart connection okay open delta connection and all those will come in application okay and other miscellaneous topics will be there okay so miscellaneous topics miscellaneous topics will be there those miscellaneous topics will be how it will behave okay in the what do you say switching transients switching transients like of magnetic inrush okay those things will come in the miscellaneous kind of harmonics okay so this is the way we are going to handle any machine frankly speaking and but this analysis i attach to the transformer so let us stay tuned means we are going to go in the same way at each and every phase i will tell you okay at each and every stage i'll tell you okay this is the phase we are in okay such that in the transformer if we can understand these phases properly if we can digest these phases properly so from gradually gradually from synchronous point of view means i'll tell you okay this is the topic where we are in so which phase it is which phase it is then automatically you will be able to identify this at the end of induction or dc you will be able to get complete grip over the machine okay let's rock soon in the next session